What's going on guys? Horror Junkies back with another video. And new backdrop. Yes. yes. Isn't it pretty? Check it. Look, look, pretty. pretty Did you say check it? I was, I was going to say check it out. Man, shut up. We got, oh, fuck. my head's in the way. We got Mickle. Mickle. Justin. <laughs> Fruity. Chucky. And over here in the little corner blade. is Blade. I don't know. Yeah, there he is. Let's try and there he is. Little blade. Yeah, there we go. Little blade. And my question is that of all these guys, why does Chucky look like he's actually trying to model? <laughs> why does he look retarded? He got a fro. <laughs> why does he? He's got a fro. <laughs> Chucky keeps staring at me. He's making me feel some type of way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. He's got a fro. Look at look, look, look. So we're gonna do something that. I never thought it would happen. Uh, this day was coming eventually. Children of the Corn. Children of the Corn. Uh, we're going to check out the trailer. It's a remake. Um, I don't know. I don't recognize anybody in this trailer at all. Um, but... Um, <sighs> I never thought it'd come. I knew, you know, once they started doing remakes and reboots and all our shit, you know, maybe one day they would come around to it, but it's here. And and I just really heard about it within the last week or so. Um, well, see, that's also the weird thing with the Children of the Corn franchise is because the reason they never remade it is because they just keep making shitty sequels. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're up to eight. This would be the ninth. I heard it was like 11, really? maybe 10. I don't know. I kind of quit watching them a long time <laughs> I ago. I stopped after the first one. <laughs> I think I watched three, maybe. I don't know. And from what I know, I haven't seen it, but from what I know, one of the sequels, Isaac, comes back somehow. Oh, well, they always come back. Always. You know, look at the guys behind us. Every fucking one of them came back more than once, you know, uh, but we're going to get into this trailer. But before we do that, we'd really appreciate you guys. If you would hit that thumbs up button, that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell, because that would really help horror junkies out a lot. We would really appreciate it. Um, thanks for supporting the channel. Um, and we're going to get into this trailer right now. You always up on the mic. Rise <laughs> of the next generation of evil. That's the happiest corn in Nebraska. Oh yeah, they the happy kids. Based on the short kids are creepy. So, always. You ain't lying. By Stephen King. Comes the nightmare. Like you've never seen it before. There, you know, there is something. I know. Creepy. It sucks. Mm -hmm. it's so hard sometimes you can hardly breathe. But I Especially can when one of them's on Mel Gibson's property. Brace yourself. Right. He who walks. He talked to me. He <laughs> took care of me. So say, now I'm Mel going Gibson, to man. take care of him. She's like a mean like little bitch. I ain't gonna lie. She looked like she would walk up to you and kick you in the shin. Fucking around. You don't kill some motherfuckers. Damn. You chop the bitch's head off. You see that dude hanging from the ceiling? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. <sighs> Creepy. She could have delivered that line the better. Door. So there you have it. Uh, looks like March, March 3rd. 3rd, which is right around the corner. Um, so many great movies coming out in March. Oh, I know. Scream, 
Now chur- churin of the corn. Churin of corn. Um, so it looks like this is going to hit right before Scream comes out, which is really badass. So it gives us something else to watch. And I think I read something where this movie is going to come out to theaters briefly. Why? And then go to streaming, I believe. I don't know that, uh, you know, they said they did the same thing kind of with uh, the mean one, um, but the mean one still hasn't come out on streaming. Which, Hence why we haven't <laughs> reviewed it yet. <laughs> which is really weird. Um, also, Winnie the Pooh is supposed to be saying. So we'll have to see. Um, I, I, I really don't have any complaints about the way this looks. At all. The trailer's I mean, really good. It's ca- that was also the official Red Band trailer, by the way. Um, but if you want to get technical, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I just really find it hard. Um, if you're doing a remake, it's I don't know that it'd be really hard to fuck this movie up, unless it's just completely fucking boring. Um, mm-hmm. I think the I mean I think they went the right way because. It's going to be kind of impossible, really, to mess it up because, from what we know, Isaac is not in the movie. Malachi is not in the movie. Pretty much any of the characters from the original aren't. Well, and it also looks like there's going to be a lead girl in this. So, um, girl power. Where in the old ones, it was Isaac and Malachi. And in this one, it's going to be a girl. Who is that girl? Um, what is her name? Her name is Kate Moyer. I think I've seen her in something. I and can't her really... name in this movie is Eden. Eden. I think I've seen her in something, and I can't. I think I've seen her maybe in a episode of Law and Order or something. She was a lot younger. Um, she looks familiar, but I can't really put it on. You know, I can't figure out where I've seen her at. Mm-hmm. Um, kids are creepy. We we said that. Um. Honestly, little blonde kids are creepier, though. Um, I didn't see too many in this trailer. <laughs> Thank goodness. But you can grab kids and do a movie, man, and just make it creepy as shit. Kids are fucking creepy, especially if they got some little, like, let's just throw it out there, church. Or, you know, mm-hmm. um, Pet cemetery. Uh, I thought you were talking Gage. about an actual church. No, Gage. Um, that little boy's laugh was fucking creepy as shit. You know what I mean? Um, and any other movie you see little kids and they're just evil is just weird. You know what I mean? It, you can't go wrong with having evil fucking kids. And I believe he was uh, the guy who, or the actor who played Gage. I believe he was in Wes Craven's New Nightmare as Nancy's son, wasn't he? Yes. That was the same actor? I believe so. Yeah. I could be wrong. Uh, if I am wrong, you guys leave a comment down below and let me know, but I do believe that's the same boy. You're not real horror fans. Uh, maybe not because they look alike pets. Maybe in the remake, the pet cemetery remake. No, I was talking about the original. Well, he, he'd be a lot older. Before the well, I, I don't not know. really. I don't he'd be remember. a lot. Of, he'd be a lot over. I don't remember. I don't exactly remake. remember the time difference between the original Pet Cemetery and the New Nightmare. But they did look alike. I don't. I don't believe it is the little boy. Um, I don't believe it's the same. It might be. I could be wrong. So from the looks of this trailer, it actually see. Here's here's something that, that could fuck up the movie. Is what have we learned from the remake of Blair Witch? They showed the witch in the in the remake, and it was fucking terrible. And it looks like from this trailer they're gonna show yeah who walks behind the rose. Yeah, and and that is something they didn't do in the original. Um, it was always left up to your imagination, right? So they could fuck this up with the creature. Um, it looks like they're. I, you know, one of the, the coolest things that I, I really do like about this trailer is the commentary sounds like an old 80s guy. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it, like when they the old eighties movies would show you a preview in the movie theater, and that that guy had mm-hmm. that voice it sounded just like that. And I love how they did that. It sounded really cool, and and it just as soon as you heard his voice, it it almost took you back to the original, which is really neat. I did like that. I like how they added that in, and it was just great. I think the only thing I didn't, I mean, I like the trailer. I think it's a really cool trailer. It's really good. The only thing I don't like about the trailer is the whole burn line. I think they could have done at least like two or three more takes on that. Yeah. Because it doesn't sound like she delivered that. Well, and, and we already know this 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 is a thing these days where you may see something in a trailer and it not even be in the movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, that has been a big thing with movies nowadays. I don't, I don't understand it. If it's not in a movie, why are you putting it in a trailer? You know, um, and once again, Halloween. We're, we're not going to name names. <laughs> Halloween. But fuck you, David Gordon Green. <laughs> All right. Um, and, and that one was really bad. You know, there was a lot of things they showed in the trailer that was not in the movie. Um, so it, it just seems to be a thing now. Um, where they do the these things, um, well, Marvel does that shit all the time. Yeah. Uh, it looks like uh, March third. I'm looking for uh, the thing I'm, I'm most definitely... looking forward to in this movie is seeing how the girl who plays Eden is in the movie. Yeah, I'm to see if she can live up to Isaac. Uh, well, she looks creepy. She sounds creepy. She she does sound creepy. She sounds mean as shit. Um, I don't know that you can compare to the two just because <sighs> Isaac did sound kind of girl- girlish. <laughs> There's a, I don't know if I'm the only one that noticed this, but in the original, am I the only one who noticed that this thing about Isaac you know, whenever he gives like a certain look or he says a certain thing? He's like he's like an old man in a child's body. Yeah. Yeah, he that came out wrong. Or did it? Yeah, he almost has that. He almost gives out a look, a certain look during the movies, um, that it's 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 almost adult like, like a man's face when mm-hmm. he. You know, I mean, obviously he was he was very young in this movie, but yeah, it was just weird. Um, but that looks like it's gonna be it for the Children of the Corn. I'm actually stoked. To see this, um, hopefully it it's actually really good, you know. Um, Can't be no worse than Winnie the Pooh. Well, we ain't seen that yet. Yo, so fuck that movie. <laughs> Even before I see it. Um, it can't be worse than the other sequels they made. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I don't believe it. Anything could be that bad. <laughs> that was bad. It was so bad. <laughs> um, so... Uh, looks like that's going to be it. Um, until next time, guys, we'd appreciate you guys if you would uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you f- think about Children of the Corn or if you're going to see it. Or let us know if we're wrong about the little boy from Pet Cemetery and The New, New Nightmare. Because um, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, like I said, it could be. It could not be. out. I just don't know. You know, it's been a long time. I wonder so, how many comments we're going to get from people saying, oh, they turned Isaac into a girl. It's going to suck. Eh, you know, probably. You know There's, what they should there do? There might be some people that just do that. You know, you, you can't please everybody. And and unfortunately, you know, even if, they, even if they were to do the dudes and name them Isaac and Malachi, they wouldn't be able to live up to them any, either. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're just not going to live up to the original characters that we all grew up watching and love. You know what I mean? You just can't do it. You know what I mean? So but, you just got to move on for, yeah. from it. But it has been proven it works. Hellraiser. Yes. Yes. Well, and there, there's some sore people about that shit still to this day, but whatever. Honestly, um, I think it'd be interesting if they turned one of these motherfuckers into girls. That would be kind of cool. Because... Uh, Picture Freddy as a girl. Grab the... Picture Freddy as a girl. That'd be tight. Well, I, I kind of got to... Get to Jason with this. So, I do got these these figures that I bought and I found. And it's 
Freddie and Jason. Jason? Jason. <laughs> done into women, which is absolutely cool. I love the detail to these. The way they did them was, was really, really good. Um, I, I just think that would, it would switch it up, you know? Um, it, it could be, it could work, you know? Um, but you know, we got these, we got these critics, we got these hard school, old school people who just, they, they're not going to take anybody else's Freddy. Jason don't really matter unless it's a really good actor that doesn't talk. Really? I mean, at this point you could get the guy that plays Art the Clown to be the next Jason and you wouldn't even know. So, um, but we just had waiting on another Nightmare on Elm Street and another Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th will be a reality before Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, yeah. You know why? Because y'all are crybabies. Yeah. You can't get over it. It's not Robert England. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get over at people um, and just get over it. You know, it's so, so to it. The man's like 102. <laughs> he don't, he don't want to be slicing Well, you know, up. and. You're going to have to accept it sooner or later because he's the one trying to find his replacement. Um, so we're going to have to get over it sooner or later. One of these days, maybe. But if not, it's just never going to happen. And, or they're just never going to remake another one or reboot it or whatever. So, um, But that's going to be it for this video, guys. We definitely appreciate you watching our videos. This is Horror Junkies, and we're out.